Hi, my name is Metro, and today we are taking a look at the 6.1 PTR, another feature on it. All right, it is actually going to be a UI feature this time, and this is the accessibility pane, all right, which is new to the interface menu. See all those? Look at, look at how many things there are, man. Eventually, it's just going to, it's going to be a scroll list. There's that many things. Uh, anyway, so this is accessibility. A lot of people say that the game's already too accessible for casuals. Oh, my God, my grandma could raid Mythic. Yeah, good, good joke. Now... Anybody can play, you know what I mean? Oh, but this is a good thing, right? So colorblind and the move pad as well have been added to this. Uh, the move pad and the colorblind UI thing have been in the game. They were previously in a different pane. This is a new pane. We're going to show off the move pad just a bit because I, 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 I guess it's been in the whole time, but I literally didn't know about it until today. You press the button and it just moves forward. Look at that. Hands are not on the mouse. And something that's really neat about this, you just press it again to stop, is you could actually put two, which is neat. But that's not what I was going to say. What is neat is you could actually, look at that. See the hands? No backward strafing is allowed otherwise. You can't actually, you know, there's auto run feature in the game, right? Which is my zero, oh, actually it's not because it's not keybound. By default, it's numlock. I have the numlock on. But if you want to do it with this, you can do it like that. But you could not actually backward strafe without pressing the button. So I don't know if there's any ever look at this. Jesus Christ, what are these things doing? You know what I mean? They don't realize they're gonna just die. But anyway, if there was ever a situation for that, I don't know. Now you know this is something that could be useful. The other really cool thing is the colorblind mode. Now I don't know what the actual UI thing does. I've been told this has already been in the game. It's meant to tell you what actual color your icons or something are. I don't actually see it. I don't know. I, I really don't know. Adds additional information, tooltips, and several other interfaces. I've not seen it. Uh, yeah, so maybe maybe you guys know what that's about, but if you do, let me know. And then now there's the actual filters, which is what the game's needed for months, probably years, probably 10 years. Uh, and there's three. Okay, there's Proanopia, there's Deuteranopia, and tri Tritanopia, I guess. I don't know. I If you guys know me, I am actually not colorblind, so I don't know anything about colorblindness, unfortunately, for everybody. But, yeah, uh, we're going to take a look at them either way. They're pretty interesting. Just to make sure we're on the same page here. Uh, this is the Proanopia one. And Protonopia is, let me get the page. Red green color blindness, where you are sensitive more to red light. So as you can tell by adjusting the strength, it, the red is very dull. I guess that's, you know, part of it. Uh, let's take a look at it in game. You can't really tell, honestly. Uh, let's get on the mount can't it's not it's not as it's just everything's a bit like darker i guess which is interesting the next one is deuteranopia which apparently is the same red green color blindness but a more higher sensitivity to green which makes sense because the green stays the same i guess and the red is different i don't know exactly how this works but anyway that's the deuteranopia once again very little change Okay. And now the final one is the coolest one. Honestly, I like the way this looks. Not meaning to insult anyone who is actually colorblind, but this looks amazing. Uh, so, you know, just the low strength and then all the way up. Oh, my God. Look how vibrant that is. So I'm, I'm warning you. I looked at this for about 15 minutes before and my eyes started like, I, I guess it messes with your eyes. You're, you're, you're obviously not meant to look at this unless you're actually colorblind. It helps you out. But this is insane. It looks like I'm in a black light, like a disco or something like that. Uh, let's check out some of the mounts real quick. Oh, man, look at the purple Galacrass. Uh, let's the Water Strider, I don't think. Yeah, nothing really. The Color Crown Juggernaut is pretty cool because it's got purple fire. Uh, the Lava as well is exceptional, but I don't want to stare at that too long. Anyway, that's it. I think that's probably one of the coolest things. Frankly, it's not meant to be a cool feature. It's meant to be practical, and I hope it is. I don't. I really don't know anything about color. I've never met somebody who's colorblind and plays this game, so... If you are colorblind, I'd love to hear a little bit about your story, how you feel the game has adapted to to your situation. Maybe it's not that big of a deal. Maybe you feel like it wasn't worth even wasting development time on, whatever. I'd love to hear it. Uh, but anyway, that's going to be it. If you guys have any questions about 6.1 PTR, feel free to ask. Perhaps maybe you have any questions about how to cure colorblindness. I don't, don't fucking ask me that. I don't know that shit. <laughs> Does anyone? <laughs>